and local health experts and University of Memphis administrators may be in different roles, but they're dealing with the same challenges. How or when to open classrooms and lecture halls safely? Well, today, the Shelby County Health Department didn't sugarcoat the potential in-person learning dangers. Local 24 News reporter Brad Broders breaks it all down for us. The coronavirus is here. It's not going anywhere soon. That's the balancing act for school districts across Shelby County, who will begin the school year later this month with either in-person learning, virtual learning, or a combination of both. The challenge played out again Tuesday as the Corinth, Mississippi District reported two additional students tested positive for COVID-19 at Corinth High School, bringing that total to five since their school year began last Monday. Sending a child uh, to school, uh, teacher, there's a risk. What we're trying to do is to limit that risk as much as possible. Shelby County Health Department Officer Dr. Bruce Randolph and others are offering guidance for those districts planning in-person or hybrid learning. The recommendations include students wearing a mask, a separation of at least six feet between desk, constant hand washing and hand sanitizer on hand, and guidelines to keeping staff safe. Our teachers who are at the uh, front line, so to speak, uh, must be protected as well. Our university in this community is about people. University of Memphis President Dr. David Rudd opted to begin the fall semester mainly online, though some small class activities will continue and housing remains available for students in need. Dr. Rudd said that data will determine when more students can return for in-person instruction. We're still working on what we believe thresholds might be in terms of overall positive uh, positive number of cases, positivity test rate, as well as the turnaround time on available testing for us. Instruction changes here at U of M could be made within a month if the COVID-19 numbers consistently improve. Reporting at the University of Memphis, Brad Broders, Local 24 News.